This week, the United Nations released its first ever report on human rights violations against LGBT people. It found that in every region of the world, people and institutions commit violations against others simply because of gender identity or sexual orientation. These violations include discrimination, rape, arbitrary detention, torture, and murder. UN Radio's Daniel Dickinson spoke to Charles Radcliffe from the Office of the High Commissioner on Human Rights about the report. Are these human rights violations systematic? Uh, What we've done is we've gone uh, back through 10 years of UN reporting and looked at at information dug up by regional organisations as well as some national crime statistics. And we found that there is a systematic pattern of violence and discrimination directed at people because of their sexuality or their gender identity. The range of violations is really quite extraordinary. And I mean, in terms of violence, we're talking about hate crimes, we're talking about targeted killings, uh, violent attacks, people getting beaten up and, and, and kicked and stabbed on the streets. Uh, we're talking about uh, sexual violence. There's a, something in, and particularly uh, noted in South Africa, corre- corrective rape of lesbians, uh, raped because people, their, their rapists think it will change their sexual orientation, right through to uh, all the forms of discrimination that people encounter in their daily lives, whether it's at work or, uh, or when they try and access health care or in schools. Of course, in 76 countries, it's actually illegal to be gay or lesbian. Uh, and there, people face criminal sanctions and imprisonment. And in five countries, the death penalty. In which countries is discrimination uh, the worst? I think countries that criminalise homosexuality. Obviously, in those countries, people are especially at risk, and it's very difficult for people to live openly. And levels of homophobia are also very high. I mean, I think one of the things we found is if the law essentially reflects homophobic sentiment, uh, then it legitimizes homophobia in society at large. If the state treats people as second class or second rate or worse as criminals, then it's inviting people to do the same thing. How are you going to persuade those countries to decriminalize homosexuality? All states, all UN member states, have a legal obligation in international human rights law to decriminalize homosexuality. The state has no business criminalizing individuals because of their sexual orientation. Having said that, it's not enough just to lecture countries and quote the law at them. So persuasion is going to be needed. That was Charles Radcliffe from the Office of the High Commissioner on Human Rights discussing the UN's first ever report on human rights violations of LGBT people. You can find a link to the report on our website, fsrn.org.